Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve this problem which is present on my blog. So the problem statement read as we have to deep flatten an object in JavaScript. Basically we are given an instead object something similar to this if you can see. So there are keys then there is nested keys and then there is keys with array value and we have to flatten it and convert the keys so we have to just uh, uh, convert the keys and show return an another object with the relative path and the value for example a's value is 12 so we will return it as it is p is 23 so we will return as it is for c c is a nested object so c contains p so we have to return c dot p as 23 then c dot o dot l as 56 so if you see over here and finally for c dot q and for arrays we have to use its indexes so c dot q dot 0 is 1 and c dot q dot 1 is 2 so we, we will be given an object something similar to this and we have to return the output in this format so let's see how we can solve this I have the boilerplate ready over here let's start implementing the solution so the first thing to notice over here is we are given a nested object and in javascript arrays are also objects so i can iterate the arrays same way i can iterate an object so let's start solutioning the problem because i need a relative path till i am getting a value in the nested object here i'll be using a prefix which is the keys prefix to determine where i am right now while traversing the object so if it is the nested call the prefix let's say we are at c so we are diving deep into the c's uh, object or c's value so this prefix value will be c once we reach to the p and if p is a relative value it's not a nested object so we will use this prefix and form a new key from this so c dot p becomes 23 similarly we'll go to o and for o it's not a relative value so there is a nested object so we'll use c dot o as a prefix and we recursively call the same function with this value and check if the keys inside this object is relative or it is also nested so if it is relative we'll use the prefix plus this key and store the value so let me create a output object so output will be object because we have to return the form uh, data in the object format and we have to return this so let me create the structure i have created a variable and then i have returned it at the bottom let's iterate the keys in the object I'm not adding any additional check over here to um, you know just to test that if the key belongs to the object only or is it in its prototype chain so we don't require that however during the interviews you make sure you clarify those questions with the interviewer so I'm not doing additional checks let me get the value of the object so I'm pulling the value from the object and I will check if the value is truthy value because the type of null is object in javascript so i add an additional check to make sure that val is a truthy value it's not undefined null false boolean anything similar to that so if val not equals to null and type of val is object if that's the case will recursively call the function so we'll see it otherwise we have to store the output with the key that we have till now with the value so let's create the key let new key equals to if the prefix is empty so there is nothing in the prefix in that case we'll use the current key otherwise we'll form a new key with the prefix plus it will be concatenated on the period operator and with the new key so we form a key if the prefix is empty we use the existing key if it is not empty it has some value 
so we form a new key from that and using this new key we'll store the value in the output similarly here let's say recursive so if the type of value is object that means we have to evaluate further we have to dive deep so i'll be making a recursive call so recursive output basically recursive calls output i will be calling the same function with object not object the value because this value is of type object so i'll be using this recursively and then i'll pass the new key over here so that the prefix will be carry forwarded to the nested path and then what we'll do is we'll merge the output with the existing output so output and then whatever we have received in the recursive output both will be merged and finally it will be written at the end so that's it that's the simple solution we have done let's run this and see if we are getting the desired output so if we see our output is similar what we are expecting a is 12 b is 23 c dot p is 23 c dot o dot l is 56 then c dot q dot 0 is 1 and then c dot q dot 1 is 2 so that's how you can solve this problem i hope you have learned something new thank you